Hey guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for drawing time? Awesome. Before we go to drawing time, I want to show you something. This right here is our new book called Liza Jane and the Runaway Train. And you know what? Here at Pets House Studios, we like to work on books together. I get together with some other artists and we do the illustrations for them. And this is one of our newest books. What the cool thing about it is, is that there's this girl who named Liza Jane and she gets on a horse to save this train that's on the wrong track. But the cool part is, it's got this train in it. And I thought today we should draw a picture of this train. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, I might read the story later, so stay tuned for that. Okay, today we're gonna draw a train. And we're gonna draw this in three parts. You can follow along for one, two, or all three of the parts if you want. All right, first, we're just gonna draw the train with our pencils. So get your pencils out, let's go. Now, when I started drawing the train, I was like, how in the world am I gonna draw this train? There's so many different things to a train, it's kinda scary to look at at first. But then I remembered, everything can be broken down into just little shapes. Everything is pretty much either a square, a circle, or a triangle. When I thought about that, that helped it. Helps me figure it out. All right, so let's start by putting down our train track. So we're just gonna draw a nice straight line here so we know where our train's gonna go. Okay, now let's do the front of the train. So remember, a train, let's see, they have two big wheels. So let's draw one circle and then another circle right next to it. Good. It's okay if they're a little wonky, you can always fix it later. Nice. All right, now those two big wheels are going to be in front of this kind of tall rectangle thing. So go ahead and make a rectangle and just kind of draw it behind the big wheels there. Nice. Now in front of the rectangle, there's this big engine, and that's kind of another sideways rectangle. So this one's tall, this one's long. And then in front of that, there's a little triangle here. Very good. All right, and now there's gonna be little circles. We'll put one down here and one down here for the wheels. And then let's do another sort of rectangle thing down here. This is another part of a train. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's go on, let's add the coal car. Trains have little cars behind the front engine part. It's just a little square, so just draw a little square there, and you can draw some puffy coals even if you want. Good. Then behind that, we're gonna add a little line to connect it. There's gonna be a passenger car where all the passengers sit in, and this is going to be another square. And then behind that, there's one more car. This one's gonna be the caboose. So just draw another square for now, and then we'll make it look more like a caboose later. Okay, there's your basic shapes. Now there's a few more things we're missing. We're missing the little front thing. You know how trains have this big thing at the front? This, you're gonna draw basically a big triangle. So make it kind of flat at the top and make it pointy at the bottom. Good. And then there's like this curvy part here at the top. It's kind of like a big frown. If you're drawing a big frown, you can draw that. And that's the top of the train. And let's add a few more little circles for the wheels. So two circles at the bottom of each car. Nice. Now we're gonna add one more little box down here. That's kind of the little, I don't know what it is. It's a little balcony at the end of the caboose where people can go stand out and look at everything. Okay, and there's your basic shapes for your train. Now, it looks kind of messy, but we're gonna go back with our pencil and add a few more lines to make all the shapes fit together. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's start, let's start with this, this uh, conductor's booth right here. We're gonna make this line curve back around and connect just like that. So now it's kind of like a big upside down sausage. And we're gonna draw a window underneath that too. So see this same line? Also, if it helps, you can erase some of the lines that you don't need anymore. All right, so this same line right here, you're gonna draw another line just like that. And then skip a space and draw a straight line right there and then two straight lines connecting it. There's the window where the conductor sits. That's the guy who drives the train. All right, nice. Now we're gonna make these lines curve in just a little bit to make it a little more kind of bouncy looking. I'm gonna make this one, let's make this a little rounded right here. And let's make this kind of come out and angle in a little bit at the top. Do two little lines there and then put a new top at the top. 
Nice. All right, let's add a straight line right here. And actually, let's make it a box. And we can just go ahead and erase what's in the middle there. So this is what connects the wheels. I'm gonna make my wheels a little bit more round. There we go. And then, let's see. We have to add a little top to the passenger car. So the top is gonna be kind of two lines that are a little bit slanted in and then a straight line at the top. Nice, and then do the same thing for the caboose. Make this kind of a little line at the top. And then for this, let's add some windows to the passenger car. So it's gonna be the upside down letter U with a line at the bottom. Let's do three of them. Nice. And then for the caboose, the caboose has this cool curvy roof. So remember, it's kind of like that upside down smile. Let's draw another curvy roof right here. And then let's add three more windows. One, two, three. Let's make this one curve up a little bit. Bring it down. There we go, that's looking good. We'll make these lines curve in a little bit too. Maybe add a line or two at the bottom of our train. I think we're pretty much almost finished. Okay, nicely done guys. And you've drawn in your train with your pencil. Awesome. Okay, we're almost done with part one. The last part is to take your black marker and you're gonna go draw over the pencil lines and then erase the pencil lines underneath when you're done. Okay, ready, let's go. Alright guys, nicely done! You just inked in your train and you finished part one. High five! That was a lot of parts to it, wasn't it? But it was actually not too hard. Alright, well if you want to stop here, this is a great place to stop. You've got a whole drawn train. But if you want to keep going to part two, we're going to add some color. Alright, let's go. Okay, for part two, like I said, we're going to do some color. So go ahead and get out your colored pencils. For this one, we're gonna be using a lot of pencils, a lot of colors, so just go ahead and get all your pencils out. Okay, so our train, if you remember from the book, let's see, let's look at the book. It looks like it's kind of blue for the front engine part, so let's draw blue first. I'm gonna get out my dark blue, they actually call this one indigo, any blue will do, <laughs> and we're gonna color in the conductor booth blue. When I color, I like to go up and down like this, up and down, up and down but you can color however you want. Okay, nice. Now let's do the same thing up here for the caboose. I mean, sorry, this is not the caboose. <laughs> Silly me. For the front engine. Good. Okay, and then I think that's most of the blue. All right, let's see what else is going on here. We have, oh, we have red wheels and a little red top and some red cars. Okay, let's do that. So let's get out our red pencil. And we're gonna color in the wheels red. I'm just gonna color my whole wheel in red. I don't know if trains really have red wheels, but that's what we decided to make it look like. And then the little top right here, and then the top of the conductor co uh, compartment place. Okay, that looks good. And let's color in the other wheels red too, because why not? Alrighty. Now what do we have going here? I think, I think the coal car should be orange. What do you think? Let's do that. All right, so get your orange out. I'm gonna color in that coal car. And then what about the passenger car? Let's make that one yellow. Let me double check. Yep, there's a passenger, and it's yellow. Okie dokie. And then let's give that a green roof. So for this one, I'm gonna use my darker green and color the roof green. That looks kind of cool. And then I think I'll color this little roof part green as well. And this little balcony place. <laughs> I'm gonna color that one green. And a little rooftop here. And then let's get out a lighter green to color the lighter part.
and we're so close to being finished guys wow and i think we oh wait a second the coal oh we're not finished yet amber was running ahead i forgot okay we have the coal now we have this little this little part here so let's do gray for or silver for this one because it's kind of shiny it's made out of metal so that's you know metal is silver and then let's get out our yellow and let's make this part yellow it's kind of shiny like maybe it's like gold and let's make this part yellow and the front little triangle yellow and i forgot we were supposed to make this little front of the train yellow so let's do that <clears throat> and you know what i totally forgot i forgot to draw the bell oh my gosh every train has a bell it's the thing that the conductor rings so you can hear if the train's coming all right so for the bell we're just going to draw this real quick Hmm, what is a bell? It's kind of this funny shape that makes a curve, then it goes up, and then it comes back down. <laughs> so, you know, you can also just draw one little mound here. You don't have to make it go out on both sides. All right, and let's color that in gold as well. There we go. And you've colored in your whole train. Wow, high five. I think it looks really good. What do you think? Okay, well, this is part two. So you can go ahead and stop here if you want, or if you want to keep going, we have one more part, part three. And for this part, we're going to add more detail to our color. Okay. But wait a second. You know what I just forgot? Oh, I forgot to wear my artist hat. Oh my goodness. Remember, whenever you do art, you want to wear your artist hat. Today for my artist hat, I have my train conductor hat because I want to pretend to drive a train one day so i'm gonna gonna have my hat ready in case that day comes okay now we're ready to go to part three all right for part three keep your colors out we're gonna go back and make the same colors a little bit darker so let's take our blue and let's color a little bit darkly around where the black line is leave the middle part bright but color around where the black line is darker so we'll color kind of dark up here let's color dark behind the wheels this is adding a shadow to our train. It's making some of the parts brighter and some of the parts darker. It just makes it look nice. All right, let's color kind of darkly right here. Maybe a little bit darkly at the top. Good, all right, let's do the same thing on our wheels. For the wheels, I'm gonna color dark just around the outer edges and I'm gonna leave the inner edges light. And let's see, let's get our orange out. Let's color dark around the edges of the orange. And the yellow. When I color dark, I just push down extra hard when I color, and then that makes it look a little darker. It's pretty cool. And keep doing this for all the colors. Like, we'll do this for green next. Have you guys ever ridden in a train before? Oh my gosh, I got to ride in it just the other day actually with my family. It was a, an old train way back from like almost 100 years ago. It's really cool. My dad really likes trains too. He used to ride in them when he was little. And he actually wrote this book because he likes trains so much. It's really cool. Okay. Oh, we got our red. Let's do, let's do the top of our conductor booth let's make that red and almost done let's do some more dark for the yellow down here at the shiny part little part for the bell I think we just about colored in our train okay nice I'm just gonna add a little shadow for the coal now where is our train is it just in a white box I don't think so. The train, trains usually go by, well, you know what, let's see, let's look in the book. Where is the train going? Well, we see, okay, we see some like mountains and some trees and oh, it looks like, oh, look here. It looks like they're driving by a big hill with some trees and sky in the background. Why don't we draw that? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, so let's get out our light green pencil and we're gonna draw just kind of a curvy hill. Let's make it go really far up like that. Okay, good. And then let's just color that in really fast. If I'm ever going too fast, you can just pause the video and come back when you're ready. 
but since the background doesn't have a whole lot of detail, it's okay to be a little messy. Okay, there's some green. Let's bring the green on down here. And then, let's see, let's add, let's add our dark green tree. So get your dark green out, and we're gonna just do a tall line with some jaggedy lines going down. Nice, another tall line, jaggedy lines going down. All right, let's do a few right here. You can put them even in the middle of the green, then it looks like the tree is closer to you in the mountain. You can do a baby tree. I think that looks good. And then that blue sky, get out your light blue pencil. And I'm just gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm stopping right when I get to the mountain so I don't color over my mountain. Nice. And you did it! Oh my gosh, guys, high five! You just drew your train. I think it looks really good. You can also add in a little bit of green in the background for the windows if you want. I should have added that earlier. And if you want, you can even draw yourself. I think I'll do that really quick. There we go. So now I've drawn myself as a conductor of the train. I'm in the conductor car. I'm gonna put on my little conductor hat there. And uh, there we go. Maybe one day I'll actually be a train conductor. That could be kind of fun. <laughs> All right, now we're finished. The last part is to take out your black marker and sign your drawing at the very bottom right here. Just sign it extra fancy. And then everyone will know, oh, that's who drew the beautiful drawing. All righty, great job, guys. Well, thanks for drawing along with me. If you ever have an idea of something else that we should draw, please ask your mom or dad to look in the, the description of this video and they can see how to contact us so they can tell us your great idea. Also, if you draw a picture of this train, please send me a picture, I'd love to see it. Alrighty guys, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time for more drawing. Bye.